Raised and owned by El Asael Racing, this two-time Group 1 winner was the best son of Amer in 2015 and will be standing at Ala de Trois in the southwest of France for his first season at Stud. Sabani Yass was a precocious, tenacious and versatile athlete. He was able to win at the top level during four seasons in a row, from three to six years old. He has a fantastic behaviour. He is a good traveller. He wins a group one in England, two group one. Uh, he hits very well. His head is very cold. He likes everything. The rain, the soft ground, the firm ground, everything. And the legs, every time is perfect also. He's a perfect horse for a trainer. Trained by Elizabeth Barnard, Sir Bani Yass represented Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan's colours brilliantly as he landed his first Group 2 at only his second attempt as a three-year-old in the Prix Shirley Bibi at Craon. Reste maintenant 150 mètres à parcourir avec Sir Banias qui a l'avantage devant le numéro 3 Salou, troisième position pour le numéro 4 Mareb. Sir Banias appuyé maintenant par Pierre Charles Boudot et qui va donc s'imposer, qui offre un doublé à Pierre Charles Boudot, le numéro 1 qui s'impose, Sir Banias. He then displayed a lot of class by winning his first Group 1 at Song Cloud. Sir Banias confirmed his class as a four-year-old by scoring in the Group 2 Prix de Qatar Hannibal, His Highness Sheikh Zayed Sultan Al Nayan in Toulouse. Sir Banias qui accélère à son tour, Al Saklaouya qui met la pression sur les concurrents de tête, même si le numéro 5 Sir Banias vient l'attaquer, Sir Banias le numéro 5 qui va essayer de mener sa tâche bien et qui se détache à quelques mètres du poteau. Then Sir Banias defeated Al Motahe in the Derby des Quatre Ans, a listed race in Chanty, and this gave us a glimpse of his future career as a high quality international competitor. During the summer of 2015 though, it was his first trip to England and his first outing on a distance as short as a mile that Sir Bani Yass showed a spectacular turn of foot to win his first Group 1, the Qatar International Stakes, beating Mr. Ginou, ridden by Jean-Bernard Ekken. Wide apart, racing up towards the line. Sir Bani Yas on the near side gets up to beat Prada T. He seems to be a very quiet horse, but when he feels that it dominates, he gives us everything from it. That's what he did when we won at Goodwood. We looked well beaten, but thanks to a terrific turn of foot, he won this super group one. He can go on every ground, even if he prefers soft going. He's very easy to ride. He especially liked to come from the back to finish, but he was able to do everything, in fact. In this period, Sir Banias always finished first, second or third, such as in the Qatar Arabian World Cup 2015. At the end of this racing season, he was crowned the best son of a mare for that year. Rated 122. Sir Bani Yass continued to shine in 2016. He came back to England and won his second Group 1 at Sandown Park, the Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan Cup. For this left is Orzan, plenty with chances inside the final furlong. Axan on the near side of Amar, Sir Bani Yass in the centre. They're wide apart, the front pair. Sir Bani Yass in the centre, Axan on the near side. Orzan running a massive race on the far side. Sir Bani Yass in the centre, he's just in front. Sir Bani Yass has prevailed. Sir Bani Yass wins the Israeli Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan Cup. After securing his last Group 1 at Sandown, it was decided to retire Sir Bani Yass to stud. Sir Bani Yass is a son of a mare, a shader a sire and sire of a sire. His dam, Nasem El Bayer, is out of Madawa, the dam of Abu al also owned by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. Sir Bani Yass, a champion purebred Arabian horse. A two-time Group 1 winner with great confirmation, an excellent temperament and an attractive pedigree will be standing at the Ala de Toi in 2017. I think all this quality, the behavior, the tendons and the, the many um, distance that it can run, all this quality uh, can help him for the, the career of Stallion. The beautiful colt will have fresh semen available at stud, in addition to frozen semen available in France and for exports.